Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah, for those of you who don't know who I am, hello, welcome. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark, and today I have a very exciting video to share with you. I'm sure you've seen a couple of these floating around because I know I did, that's why I had to order a box for myself. Um, this is a B&G trading unboxing. I did order this box with my own money, so I know that's going to be asked. Um, although I was so impressed that I did reach out to the company and ask them if they would send me a box to review. So that is going to be shown soon as well. Anyways, I did spend my own money on this box. I spent $423, I remember. <laughs> and I did have a discount code. I think it was 20% off. Um, and I also will have a code for you guys. If you would like 20% off your box, it'll just be the code street savvy. I will put it here and in the description box. Um, that'll get you 20% off your box if you decide you want something from B&G, which I think you will because I got some really exciting stuff. Um, anyways, I have been looking for a good wholesale company just because as much as I love thrifting, I would like to have at least one box of new inventory per month to put in my store. And also it's nice to have inventory delivered to your door sometimes, just when you're busy and don't have time to thrift. So yeah, I'm really excited about what I got. Um, now I will preface this by saying it took my box three weeks to get here. I ordered it on my birthday, November 16th, and um, it arrived in the beginning of December. So shipping time was a little long, whatever. I mean, that's kind of typical for wholesale liquidation orders, at least that I've bought in the past. It usually takes about three weeks. Um, and I did have four or five items out of this box that were damaged, so I am going to reach out to B&G. Although I don't think that's going to be an issue getting replacements or refunded. It seems like they're pretty good at making things right. So out of 50 items that I ordered, a couple had flaws, but overall... I'm very excited so I'm gonna stop blabbering and get into this haul um, so what I did buy was the 50 piece Nordstrom slash revolve box although in the future I think I'll probably just get the Nordstrom boxes um, I don't know just based on the brands that I saw that were from Nordstrom based in like in revolve I don't know I just thought the Nordstrom brands were a little bit better that I received than the revolve brands so anyways um, I will let you guys be the judge and show you guys what I got. Um, so the first thing I have is this Jack BB Dakota Adventureland coat. Uh, it has a faux fur hood. It's a size medium. It's adorable. It's black, so it's drowning out the camera. But it's a really adorable coat. And this retails for like $150. And they looked like they were selling for about $60 to $70 new, so excited about that piece it's a brand I've never heard of before it's called free the roses it's sold at Nordstrom um, obviously new with tags everything almost everything <laughs> was new with tags um, but it has this really adorable tassel fringe striped oversized blazer this is a piece by English factory yes English Factory and it's this really cool mixed print patchwork slip dress um, these retail for about a hundred dollars and it looked like they were selling for about 40 to 50 new another piece from English Factory it is this little denim button-down skirt with a velvet bow super cute I love this dress and if I had somewhere to wear it I probably would have kept it it is just by is it Bobo? I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I like this brand for myself. Um, it's this gorgeous leopard print wrap dress. And still has the Nordstrom tag and the original tags. Um, the retail on this piece isn't super high. It's like $70, um, but it's gorgeous. And it's still in stores, so I think I'll be able to get like $40 for it. Um, this is a brand I've never heard of. It is for Sienna. It looks like it was sold at Nordstrom. Um, let's see, they have a retail of $59. Um, and then it looks like it was marked down to a penny. 
let me get my crying dog. Sienna sold at Nordstrom rack. Um, it looks like it was marked down to a penny, but whatever, I'll still sell it for probably $30. So it's a really cute little knot front crop top with these bell sleeves. Another really pretty dress from Nordstrom. It is this hinge foil dot dress. It like buttons down the front, it has a little tie. It's adorable and it has the tags. And let's see what they had it marked down to. They had it marked down to $25, but it was originally a hundred. I'll probably price this around 35. This is a halogen, let's see if I can get the tag, that's stuck in there, halogen, oh, huh, the tag was over here, that's why I couldn't find it, um, so this was also marked down to a penny, but most of the stuff in this haul probably has the penny mark, just because that's what uh, Nordstrom marks their liquidation stuff as, so most of these are marked down to a penny. I will not be asking a penny for this, <laughs> um, I think I'll ask like 20 to 25. It's a size 12. I don't know if I said that. Um, this is a really pretty dress, but while I was steaming it, I noticed it has a flaw, so I'm going to have to contact them. Um, there were a couple pieces that were flawed, but not many, so I'm going to reach out to them and see if they could replace it or what they could do. But it's a really pretty dress nonetheless. It's from TFNC London. This is $100 on the Nordstrom tag. It's this gorgeous floral chiffon dress. And the flaw that I found is on the zipper, so it's missing a little zipper pull, but still a stunning dress, and the zipper is still fully functional. It's just kind of a pain not to have the zipper pull, so I will reach out to them. Um, this is a pair of Pistola jeans, and they're a really cute skinny jean, and they have the studding on the front and on the back. These are size 25. Super cute. Um, this is, I think this is line and dot. Let's see if I can find the tag. <laughs> it's like, it's somewhere in there. There we go. There it is. Um, it's a line and dot faux suede crop top. And it has this little like grommet detail. Um, this is a, another line and dot. and dots a little zippered mini skirt um this is a free people intimately bodysuit and it is new with tags let's see $35 okay this I need to to bring out because it's one of the most exciting pieces sorry Let's see if I can adjust this. So it is this gorgeous frame track jacket. I don't know if you can see the beautifulness. It's hard to show because it's black. But it is from frame. I almost died when I pulled this piece out. It is gorgeous. It retails for over $300 and has the tags. <laughs> I'm knocking stuff over. Um, yeah really excited about this. I should be able to get at least $150. Obsessed. Okay, let's get that back on before I knock more stuff over. Um, okay, another pair of Pistola jeans. These are like a greenish gray wash. Um, the color smudged and they're just a skinny jean, size 26. This is a Free People cardigan that is sold at Revolve. Still has the tags and this is a little belt that goes around it. It's gonna be really hard to picture, but the stock photo is cute, so that's good. Um, this is a brand I've never heard of before. It's Gray Lab and they do have the tags. Everything has the tags. I don't know why I keep saying that, but yeah. Um, I'm not very familiar with this brand. It looks like it was sold at Nordstrom, but these are adorable. They're a printed trouser pant. They feel like super great quality and they have a really cool little belt. And those retailed for over $100, so hoping for like 50. 
Um, okay, this is another line and dot little skirt. Has tags somewhere, but they are tucked in. Um, this is a Aster label ruffle dress. I think this was sold at Revolve as well, but it's adorable. It's a size large. Um, a Madewell little tank top. I actually own the same tank top, and I think I got it from Nordstrom Rack. Um, and this. Just has a Nordstrom rack tag, so I'm not going to list it as new with tags, but I'll get like $15 for it. This is Amanda and Chelsea 12 Petite um, dress, originally $100. Just a pretty stretchy sheath dress with a floral print. Good size, though. This is a J. Crew blouse. Um, it is not, I was going to say new, it is not new. <laughs> it is new without tags. Um, just has an Nordstrom rack tag, but it's a little peplum blouse, super cute. This is a Jack Baby Dakota cardigan. This is the cuffing season cardigan. It was originally $75, super chunky and oversized. It's perfect for a fall and winter. Um, this is an Olivia Sky cardigan. This is probably one of the cheapest pieces that was in my box, um, but it'll still sell because it's an extra large and it's an adorable cardigan so ooh, ooh. okay just kidding uh, it looks like there might be a little flaw so that might go in my my little flawed pile um, this is an endless rose satin ruffle tie sleeve blouse has the tags somewhere over there um, this is an exciting find this is a pair of Eileen Fisher organic linen shorts, um, originally $138. These are called the City Shorts. They are linen. Then I got two of these line and dot blouses. I think this was the only um, set of repeats that I had in this box, which is something I like. There was a lot of different styles and I didn't have a ton of the same piece, which I was afraid of. Um, so these are just little lace nude blouses so a small and a medium and then this is a free the roses adorable faux suede fringy sheath dress i love love it um, and it does have the tag it's a size small but i'll probably get like 30 dollars for it nothing crazy but it's still super cute Next up is a basic Madewell top. Um, this I would consider flawed just because it's tagged through the shirt, which has created a hole. So that's a bummer, but it'll still sell, just not for a lot. I really like this piece. It is Yumi Kim. And this is a cold shoulder velvet choker neck blouse not doing it justice but it's gorgeous and it would be perfect for the holidays and this retails for over a hundred dollars so super excited about that piece um, this is another piece by the gray lab los angeles and it is this velvet um side slit oops, sorry there's my messy floor full of hangers um velvet dress um this retails for over a hundred dollars as well but i'll probably get like 40 for it I love this blouse. It is um, another one from Endless Rose. Is it Endless Rose? Yes. <laughs> um, and it's gorgeous. So, excited about that one. This is another line and dot. Yes, it is. Uh, it's just a little halter lace hem tank top. It was sold at Revolve. Um, this is a Jack BB Dakota Ooh. jumpsuit. Super cute. All right. This is another Jack BB Dakota um, little lace dress. Has a keyhole back. And this was also sold at Revolve. Okay, this is one of my favorite pieces that was in this box. 
It is a brand new equipment dress. New with all tags. Um, it's gorgeous. It's called the Natasha Silk Dress. Even comes with the additional button. Stunning. It retails for $300. I think it's $398. $398 or 368 One of those. Um, but yeah, an amazing piece. Size medium. I'll probably get over $100 for this. So this alone makes me really excited. Um, this is another pair of Pistola jeans. But these have a really nice chewed hem, which is super in right now. Um, they're size 29. Another pair of Pistola jeans. These were sold at Revolve. They're super distressed. High rise boyfriend jeans, which again is a super in style. Um, this is also by Pistola. It's a little lace up corset top. I think that'd be really cute for like a festival or something. Another piece from Endless Rose, and I I just really like this brand. I had never heard of it before this haul, but their pieces are really beautifully made. Um, the lace on this is so intricate, and it has a little cutout in the middle. has these, like, little trumpet sleeves. It's gorgeous. Size medium. Another Pistola piece. I have seen this in some other hauls um, from B&G, but... This piece was sold at Lulu's for $100, so that's pretty awesome. It's a little snap-up maxi skirt. This is a Nordstrom house brand, Lush. Um, just a little pleated dress. I'll probably get like $20 for this. Nothing crazy. Another Endless Rose piece. It is this little ruffle choker neck crop crop top that's gonna oh no please don't fall all right saved by the choker um i love this coat it is um jack by bb dakota and it's this little ruffle front plaid coat and i think that is all Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what I got in my B&G trading box. Again, I did have a couple pieces that were flawed, um, just like tiny holes or were missing an accessory or something like that. But I have reached out to them and they have already responded to me to get these items replaced. So very impressed. Um, I'm really excited about what I got and everything is going to be listed in my Poshmark and eBay, which is linked down below. So if you want anything that you saw in the haul, it will be listed there. Um, so I hope you guys are having an amazing quarter four, an amazing month of sales. Until next time, bye.